thank you so much for joining this call. First of all, uh, we're very pleased to um, that you took your time and the effort to enter into the photo competition. And congratulations on winning the human impacts on the environment category with your beautiful photo. Uh, so I would like to start by asking you if you can give me some background on the photo you submitted. When did you take it? Why did you pick that subject? And what made you decide to submit it to our competition? Well, first of all, thanks for having me. And uh, I'm also uh, happy to know that I have on this uh, competition, especially uh, the human impact to the, the environment uh, issue. So the reason I have taken this picture because I had this theme in my mind for quite some time. And uh, since uh, I've been traveling all around the country, all around Bangladesh for, it's been like 10, 15 years, I've been traveling for my other jobs all around the country. So it was noticeable of, uh, you know, uh, brick factories all around the countries, brick cleans, and uh, the, the impact is very imminent, uh, you know, uh, especially it's not only that uh, these brick cleans are emitting the carbon dioxide into the environment. At the same time, it is directly impacting those people who work there. So there are a lot of photos out there you can see, but I wanted to combine both, like the impact of, uh, impact to the environment at the same time the, to the people directly who works there. So those people who work to the brick, brick cleans, they are actually uh, somewhat related to uh, the impact of natural calamities, uh, climate change and everything. Ref pretty much the refugees, climate refugees, I would say. And these people, they need immediate jobs. So that's why they find this job because it's easy to get. So anyhow, um, so I took a lot of pictures on that particular subject. But one day in the morning, I was traveling to the north uh, west part of Bangladesh. And I happened to find that opportunity to uh, get this particular uh, picture, uh, which can represent uh, this theme, like the, you know, human impact to the nature at the same time, the effect of the nature to the human, you yeah. know, yeah. So these things. Yeah. Um, where, where did you take this photo? not uh, west part of Bangladesh. West part of Bangladesh. Uh, it's called okay. Dinajpur. Okay, okay. And, Dinajpur. That's a, and that's a fabric, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a very powerful photo uh, for sure. And um, I would like to know, so you mentioned you, um, you uh, travel for, for work. What is your background? Are you, do you have a background in photography or do you? Yeah, yes, yes, I do photo? have. Um, so uh, I started taking photo, you know, because I wanted to tell stories. And initially I used to take photos uh, using my phone. Mm -hmm. uh, so the reason I got chance to travel around the countries because I, initially I was a tour guide. So I got a chance to work with international travelers in Bangladesh and, you know, travel each and every part of Bang uh, Bangladesh. And then it was in my mind, I mean, from my childhood to, uh, you know, hear the stories of other people. And, uh, and I, I just wanted to find a way how I can tell it. And then with the encouragement of some of my friends, I started taking photos with my phone. And then I was, um, and one of my friends actually uh, offered me a camera. Why don't you get a camera and start taking a bit more professionally? And then I started learning eventually. And uh, so now what I do, I, um, I take photos pretty much professionally, I would say, and mm -hmm. I'm a contributor to Getty Image and other um, agencies. Um, at the same time, I operate uh, photography tours and workshop in Bangladesh for international travelers. Okay, I this see. This is my background. I see, perfect. Uh, and so, yeah, you were saying, telling a story, right, with your, with your um, photos. Um, yep. In what way do you think that, like, do you think that photos can be impactful, can, can change, can raise awareness, can change someone's opinion about a subject? Absolutely. That's the most powerful way, uh, I would say, that to influence people's mind. Uh, yes, you know, in these days, it's, it's it, you know, wherever you see there are photos, but still, you know, if you are thoughtful enough, if you can connect with the subject, connect with the people, and if you can find the untold words, untold stories, and if you can put it to the right place, then yes, uh, image can change the whole, I mean, change the human mind and the perspective of, you know, 
So that's what I personally I, I I'm looking for uh, to find those those stories and to tell to the global audience so that they can be aware about uh, you know about certain issues such as climate change impact to the environment and everything else. Absolutely, absolutely, we agree. Uh, so as you might know at Earth.org, we write about uh, you know the climate crisis and all the environmental issues that affect our planet. Uh, and try to raise awareness. But at the same time, we launched this photo competition because we also believe that photography can have such a powerful impact on people. And, you know, like if you, if you take some very good photos and you attract the attention of an audience with that photo, you might be able to tell a story, tell a bigger story. And of course, like raising awareness of, on environmental issues is extremely important, especially at this time, especially right now. Um, so that's why we, we value this competition so much and we're so happy that you submitted your photo. And yeah, it's definitely such a powerful photo. So yeah, we're, we're very happy for you um, that you made, that you, that you won this category um, and yeah, that you submitted the photo. Um, and what, what makes a good photo for you? What, what do you look when you, when you go around and take photos? Is it more, you, you find your subjects or you look for your subjects actively or are they just around you and you feel inspired in the moment and you take a photo? I would say it's pretty much both. Sometimes it depends. Uh, but for me, story is important than the technical matters, mm -hmm. you know, story. Uh, whether I take a portrait or this kind of environmental pictures, or, you know, there has to be a story that is not being told. Yes. Uh, that's what I personally look uh, look for. So sometimes I, in search, sometimes it's there, you know. Uh, so when you are uh, on a travel, if you have a freedom to travel freely, that's mean you have more freedom and it's there. You just have to look at. And sometimes when you have limit, limit limitation of traveling, then probably, yes, you have to search for stories. Uh, but again, as I've said, what is significantly important for me is to find an untold story because that's the purpose of, for me, of taking pictures, you know, not to like take, retake pictures, what is already there. So for me, it's something that I would say, um, just finding a right story, untold story. Yes, 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 that's, yeah, totally, totally agree. And um, one last question, what, what are the main issues that you, that you saw in Bangladesh during your travels, the main environmental issues? Uh, there are few main issues, I would say. Uh, first of all, uh, as you know, that Bangladesh is one of the uh, most vulnerable country to climate change. So that is the, one of the key issues. And then the pollution. Uh, we have um, the, like the main, cap the capital city of Bangladesh is one of the uh, uh, worst uh, city as far as uh, air pollution yeah, is concerned. Pollution. Uh, yeah, so and it becomes worst uh, during the winter time when it's dry. Um, we got we, we have a lot of development works there and also bricklins uh, cause this issue. So air pollution, uh, plastic and uh, waste management, these are the key issues. And there are others, other issues too, but I would say that at this moment, yes, the pollution, pollution, uh, climate change should be the ma main issue. Like when I'm talking to you, there is a flood going on uh, in my in my region, not uh, uh, eastern part of Bangladesh, and those people are experiencing uh, the the flood that you know they have not been experienced anything like that in centuries. Yeah. So it's a worse flood going on. Uh, millions of people are underwater, submerged their houses and properties, and uh, it's somewhat related to climate change, you know. Uh, yeah. uh, because uh, excessive rainfall, it happened like within a few days. It has, so the, the climate is sh shifting and as a result, people are suffering. So this moment, I would say that climate change is a main issue here in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And while of course like climate change has to be tackled on a global level, do you think that your government is doing something to, to tackle the environmental issues? Yeah, absolutely, they're doing. And uh, 
we are doing, I would say that uh, we are doing well. Uh, if you consider, if you, if you look at the geography of Bangladesh, it's, as I've said, it's one of the most vulnerable country, but uh, we experience pretty much uh, every year some sort of cyclone and these sort of things. Uh, but uh, we, 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 do, we don't ex experience that much casualties and, and you know, um, uh, losses because that we have, our disaster management system is quite good compared to other countries. Uh, so the government is doing everything possible, uh, but I would say that it's not on, in their hands. You know, it's something that uh, the global uh, uh, communities need to focus on and uh, need to assist and need to uh, cooperate with our government to make it, uh, make it you know, sustainable um, and, and, and improve the situation because yeah. climate change is not like one country's matter. Uh, we yeah. are just, as a developing country, we are the, you know, we are the um, affected people of the developed birds of the world, so, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. It's definitely something that needs to be tackled quickly and from everyone in the world. But of course there are right. polluters and there are just, you know, uh, countries that suffer more than others. Um, yeah, and that's why, yeah, of course, governments have to do their part, but it's also important to raise awareness among populations in general so that people, individuals can also change their behavior. Absolutely. Their and that's why, as a photographer, I think that, you know, we all have responsibilities from our end. So I think that um, it's not easy to just become a photographer. And But, you know, the reason I have, choose this, I have chosen this path is to you know, raising awareness through my through my work, whether it's whether it's climate change, pollution, and other issues. So that's the main main thing that what, why I'm doing this, and I'm I'm glad that you have uh, chosen one of my pictures. And you know, uh, I, I believe that this picture can, you know, put uh, even if it puts a little impact on people's mind, that will be an achievement for me. Oh, absolutely! And we're as I said, we're very glad you submitted a photo on. Uh... We're very, very glad that there's people like you that do do this this job and you know do whatever they can to raise awareness on these issues. Yeah. It's extremely important. So thank you so much for your work. Thank you for submitting it and uh, congratulations again on winning the competition. Thank, thank you very much uh, for having me and also thank you for selecting my pictures and I also appreciate your appreciate your work what you do uh, i like your articles i regularly read your articles and everything so yeah thank you for your work too glad to hear that thank you so much